Hi everybody, Miss Betsy here from the Fabian School Garden. And I'm so excited to be with you today to talk about something called a habitat. How many people out there remember talking about habitats in garden class? Yeah, we did, we talked about these a lot. Well, today we're going to investigate habitats and we're actually going to build some in my garden. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. So how many people out there remember what the definition of a habitat is? Raise the roof if you remember. Yeah. You're absolutely right, scientists, because a habitat is a home for plants and animals and other living organisms, right? Yeah, and, and habitats can look really different depending on where you are in the world. I was wondering, would you like to sing the habitat song with me? Okay, I'm so glad you want to sing it. On your mark, get set, go. A habitat is a place we live. A habitat is a place that gives. It's a home to plants and animals. It's a habitat. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Mm, round of applause, round of applause. As usual, I would like to sing it one more time, but be like extra fast and extra silly. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. A habitat is a place we live. A habitat is a place that gives. It's a home for plants and animals. It's a habitat. <laughs> Before we jump into our project, who can remind me of the most important thing we bring into the garden? And you can show me with your hands if you want. That's right, scientists. It's love. Love is the most important thing that we can bring into the garden. We're gonna make these little habitats. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be garden stewards. A steward is somebody who takes care of something. Stewardship is the process of taking care of things. I know all you out there, and I know how good you are at garden stewardship because you're so good at taking care of the garden. So let's go garden stewards. Hi everybody, can you see me down here? I'm all the way on the ground in my garden amidst the strawberries and flowers and all kinds of beautiful things. So I thought we'd go ahead and start making a little habitat. And look at what I found in my garden. Found some rocks, some flowers. These are just laying on the ground. I found some really beautiful leaves and sticks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start constructing. Check this out. You're not gonna believe who is passing right through my little habitat. Look at this little friend. Do you recognize it? What is that, everybody? If you know it, say it in three, two, one. Yeah, that's a garden snail. Shall we put it in our little habitat we created? Yeah, let's do it. So I'm ever so gently going to take this snail because I just love it so much. I'm going to be a very gentle garden steward and I'm going to place it right in that habitat. Well, garden friends, as always, you did a wonderful job today in garden class. I'm so glad you were here with me to be a steward making a garden habitat. Are you ready for your garden challenge? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, your garden challenge is to go outside with a guardian to make sure that you stay safe and to make a garden habitat of your own. Maybe your habitat will be for a ladybug, a spider, maybe a bumblebee. Who knows? It's up to you. And if you're feeling especially bored at home, one thing that I used to love to do when I was growing up, and I still kind of love to do this, 
is to bring little tiny toys, any small toys you have, maybe they're little animal toys or little people toys. I bring them outside and I like to build little structures out of natural objects for them. So you can make habitats for your toys or you can make habitats for living creatures in the garden. It's up to you. Have fun, everybody. Great to see you. Bye-bye.